we are in an unprecedented global pandemic that really sucks. Uh, it's tough going through this second wave. It's frustrating having shut down all of us, our lives through the spring, uh, and now be forced to make more difficult choices and knowing that it's going to be a tough winter ahead as well. Well, you don't often hear the Prime Minister saying something sucks, but when it comes to 2020, <laughs> it's a pretty apt description. Yeah, just not only for the last few weeks, but you're absolutely right. I think the last uh, six or seven months. And the Prime Minister alluding there as well that there's some tough decisions uh, ahead. And, of course, a lot of folks reading into that thinking that Christmas might be uh, up in the air. So is Christmas, is it off the table? Let's go right to infectious disease specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh, who joins us this morning. And, uh, Doctor, what is your take? Was the Prime Minister, do you think, setting the table there for us all not to set our Christmas tables? Well, I agree with him. <laughs> what he says, it sucks. I mean, yeah, we're in the midst of a global pandemic. It's awful. We Sadly, Canada surpassed 10,000 deaths. I mean, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. It impacts us here at home. It's impacting the world. I, I also, uh, you know, in all fairness, I appreciate that message that even though Christmas and New Year and Hanukkah and Diwali are, are coming up, uh, and they might be a month or two away, depending on the holiday, you look at where we are in Canada, you look at the trajectory of our cases, and there should be no surprises. And I think we're going to see a modified holiday season in many, many parts of the country. I think it's going to look differently depending on where we are. Certainly, there's you know different parts of the country are impacted in different ways. We're probably going to see regional advice from the public health authorities. But I, I, it's pretty clear that Christmas, New Year's, Diwali, Hanukkah are going to be celebrated in a modified and probably a more tempered manner this year. On top of that, Dr. Bogosh, a new Global News Ipsos poll says nearly half of Canadians are tired of hearing from health officials. Let me just say, Dr. Bogosh, we never tire of hearing from you. <laughs> um, then just last night, the Dodgers win the World Series, and we saw a player pulled from the game after testing positive for COVID, only to return to the field to celebrate with his teammates, take off his mask. What do you think of that, and what does this say about people not heeding the advice of health officials anymore? Yes, a couple of good points there. Certainly, I think we're all tired of this, but of course, we have to remain vigilant. We know how this virus is transmitted. We know how to prevent this virus, and we know what we need to do to prevent transmission within our homes and within our communities. So we might be tired with this virus, but by no means is this virus through. Um, now, when you see people with, you know, in all, this, this case here is very interesting, right? Like, in all, we don't actually have all the details, and it's not entirely clear if this is a true positive case, if this is a false positive case. If what, what, It's hard to know exactly what's going on. But let's just assume, and that's an assumption, but let's assume that someone's infected with COVID-19. No, you, you certainly wouldn't want to be in close contact with other people uh, celebrating. You're, you're going to put other people at risk. We've seen this actually in Canada. We've heard uh, senior political leaders uh, across the country talk about different circumstances where people have known they were positive or were in the, you know, at risk or exposed and were still conducting themselves as if nothing had happened. And that's clearly the wrong approach. So whether or not that's COVID fatigue or, or something else, we know the right things to do. We also know the wrong things to do. There's no excuses at this point. We know what masks, physical distancing, hand sanitation are. We should be really heeding the advice or continuing to heed the advice of our public health authorities. Do health officials have to do anything different to try and get that message across, particularly if the greater good isn't getting through anymore? Yeah, I, I think that it's just repeated messaging, but perhaps better and more effective messaging. And quite frankly, we know that there are behavioral change experts and communication specialists. And well, maybe we've uh, make lost us buy the clothes okay. that we buy, or uh, or or uh, or you know buy the cars we buy, or choose the restaurants we go to. So. You know, I think we can really enlist communication experts and behavioral change experts to help to help with this. All right, Dr. Bogosh, appreciate the time as always. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have a great day.